Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to another Monopoly Hub video. Man, has it been a while since I've recorded a video and done a Monopoly Hub video? I'm happy to be back, and we're back uh, getting into things with Monopoly Hut. Uh, obviously, not a lot has changed from the last time we've been in it, so I think the best thing to do is just obviously head straight to the board and roll the dice. All right, guys, first roll of the episode, and we get a three. All right, guys, so a three is roll again, so we will go ahead and do that, and we get a 10. All right, guys, so a 10 is open up to premium packs, so we are gonna go ahead and head to the store right now and do that. Obviously, premium packs have been lacking, but we are hoping for that to change. Now looking at the packs that are out, if we can hit special packs, man, we have some Black Friday packs out because uh, the time that I am recording it is, well, it is a Saturday after Black Friday, but we have some huge packs that are out. Sadly, we rolled on two, well, not sadly, but we rolled a uh, two premium pack openings. So um, I doubt premium packs are going to be good now in the year, but we're hoping for something to upgrade the team. Obviously, it's going to be hard to do um with our team being pretty good right now um but we are hoping that we get something good a connor hobbs obviously will not make the team we need something like i want to say 82 or plus is pushing it i want to say 84 plus would be ideal now to help out our team uh, i don't think these premium t premium packs will give us that sadly which does suck i think nick batan is going to be our best pull here which definitely does suck and second uh, premium pack gonna be our last one and then uh, I need to do some talking with you guys to just uh, take care of some things in the series here so like a 76 overall man like is that Brandon Sutter so that's gonna be our highest pull I'm assuming is that okay Zach Smith is now gonna be our highest pull we're not even gonna pull a rare gold player are we here I no, it's that's not what it's looking like man fuck looking at our collection we have around 167 uh, gold players Obviously, some of them are on our team. Now, I want to know what I should be doing with these gold players. Do you guys want me to put them to the gold upgrade set? Should I be turning them into icon collectibles or to event collectibles? Um, I already have one icon collectible, which I pulled like my first episode. Um, so maybe we can, you know, make enough collectibles to do an 88 overall icon set, 89, 90, or get a Lemieux or Gretzky eventually. Um, so you guys let me know what you want me to do with my gold players. Silver player wise, I think the smartest thing to do, we have 172 items, we're just going to do the silver player upgrade set. Uh, this way we get more gold players and stuff like that. So we're going to go do one uh, right now. Um, obviously, we have a chance of pulling a good gold player as well. So um, I think we will do an upgrade set every video. Does that seem fair? um because i think you have to wait an hour to do one so i think we'll do a silver set until we run out of silvers uh every episode i think that seems fair obviously more packs for you guys to see and stuff like that um so, and then obviously we're getting more gold players to hopefully put them towards sets whether they be the gold upgrade set uh towards icon collectibles gold collectibles you guys let me know uh that will be up to you guys in the comments so let me know so here we go we're not going to use him and definitely not going to use, uh, you know, not the real uh, Sveshnikov. So, just great. We can put a milestone for completing that set. That's 200 coins in our pocket. Okay, we'll take it. And looking where we left off last time, we sadly ended off last episode on our first ever loss in the series. The perfect record, no more. But hey, you know what? I've been happy with the run we've been on. We are currently uh, in Div 7. Uh, looking to advance to Div 6. We obviously can't win the Division 7 title today, but we can advance to Div 6 by winning both games. Um, so hopefully we can do that. Uh, but nevertheless, it is time to head into game number one of the episode. Let's go do it. Game number one, and it is going to take a while to get used to the game. I haven't played NHL in a hot minute, especially with this team. So it is time to head into the first game of the episode and hopefully grind out a W. Here we go. We've got McKinnon. I believe that's McDavid on the draw. So he does have a very good team. Let's see what happens. Beautiful saucer pass. Let's go, Phil. Yes, Phil, you're faster. We get this across. Oh, no. First shot on goal. I think it's not going to count, though, because Phil Kessel did end up running into the goalie, even though he pushed him into the puck. I don't think it's going to count, sadly. And was I right? 0-0 zero, zero game still. Get that across. Oh my god, what a save by Talbot. Christopher Letang. Downloaded Brock Besser. Brock. 
Besser with his Brocket power. Make that one nothing for us. <sighs> Let's go. At the end of one, it is one nothing us. And looking at the stats, he has zero shots on goal. So we're playing great defensively. Uh, we have that one goal lead. We have uh, just over two minutes time in attack than him. So we're playing good. If we keep this up, we should be fine. Get that across. John Tavares. Captain Tavares. We're going to name him captain after this game. I don't care what you guys say. Make that 2 nothing. Captain Johnny on the spot. Let's go. Get in there, Kempe. There you go. Kempe. Oh, what a defensive play by him. He knew exactly where I was going with that puck. Let's go. Riley. Morgan Riley. Captain Riley? Captain Morgan? Oh, boy. We're going to have a dilemma here. That one-handed tuck led to a freaking rage quit. Let's go. 3 nothing. Big dub in our first episode back in a while. GG's. I just played well that game. I felt really good defensively, offensively. Just a great game. You guys got to let me know now. I might have some leaf bias. Which one sounds better? Captain Johnny or Captain Morgan? Let me know in the comments down below. Confirmation of the two points. 4-1-0. Oh, after taking a hard L last episode we come back with a W make that eight points in div seven we completed an objective here it's probably only at yeah, 200 coins is what I figured I'll uh, add that to the bank account which is now over 43,000 coins which is a lot of coinage man I'm so nervous about going bankrupt with that amount of coins in our bank account well after that win it is time to head back to the board which we are here ready to roll the dice so here we go Technically the third roll of the episode and we get a two. So a two is open up one premium pack, but since we had a double, we get to roll again. So let's go roll the dice one more time. Fourth and final roll and we get a nine. All right, so a nine is open up two premium packs. So we have three premium packs to open and you guys saw how last premium packs went. Absolutely horrendous. So hopefully it'll change around this time. We didn't pull anything over an 80 overall. Hopefully that changes again. Three packs that aren't special packs when there are some good special packs out does rub salt into the wound. But hey, listen, three of these premium packs, surely we get an 80 plus. That's all I'm asking for at this point, man. Just give me an 80 plus here, okay? Please, something to upgrade the team because we haven't upgraded in a while. So here we go. Looking. Jack Hughes, not exactly what I'm looking for. Nazim the Dream. Don't know if he'll make the team. He's a decent synergy. Um, I just don't know if he'll make the team as an 81 overall, but hey, we pulled an 80 plus finally uh, We got a coach. Okay. We got a Bruins Jersey uh, Silver player and that is about it. But hey an 80 plus overall. We'll take it I guess two more packs to go here out of these premium packs. Can we top a Nazim Kadri? Please EA <sighs> Here we go. Give me something good Wayne Simmons Wayne the train. Okay 80 overall. We got an Indy fuel Jersey Decent looking jerseys, not going to lie. Uh, we got a Mike McLean, uh, Red Wings jersey. Anything else towards the end of the pack? Doesn't look like it. Feels bad, man. And last and final premium pack before we maybe go upgrade the team and head into a game. Hopefully upgrade the team. <sighs> Come on, something to top a Nazem Kadri. David Back is not what we're looking for. Nick Peterson, not what we're looking for, obviously. Come on, something good, man. I need something. <sighs> Last three cards, please. Jack Johnson, that's going to be it, isn't it? My goodness gracious. Surely we have enough jerseys, enough gold jerseys to get a, another premium pack. This isn't cheating. We're not going to use these jerseys. We're not going to sell them for coins. Might as well get rid of them if we're not going to use them. One more premium pack before we go ahead and, and head into a game here. Okay, one more. We, we did a little cheating, but... I mean, completing sets is part of the game, right? Kevin Hayes is probably going to be our best pull. So, uh, Joel Edmondson, that's probably going to be it. Pavel Zaka, there's not going to be anything towards the end. A thousand coins, okay? We're adding to the bank account. But yeah, another brutal pack. A thousand coins there. We also completed an objective. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, might be a weekly. Oh, it's a milestone. Complete sets. Out of 500 coins to the account not bad as before we head into the game we got to figure out who we're going to be naming captain next episode i need you guys to leave a comment here looking at john Tavares' stats you know obviously stats don't mean every everything but hey three games played he has four points three goals and an assist i mean he is getting the points up there captain johnny would be his nickname if we name him the captain and then we're looking at morgan riley uh he has seven games played only three points uh but he is a plus a for a defenseman that is pretty good so his nickname would be captain morgan 
both sound great let me know what you guys want comic captain johnny or captain morgan um and let me know who we're naming captain on this team also looking at this team i mean we could if we wanted to throw in nazim Kadri and take out charlie coil and i think we're going to do that because x is a very good synergy to have um putting them in we're going to be halfway to it so i think it only makes sense to add nazim Kadri uh to add um you know us getting closer to x factor second game of the episode and we're playing max sauce he, he must second game of the episode and we're looking for just as good of a game out of us like we had in the first one so here we go looking for a second win of the episode to get back on a bit of a winning streak here after taking that l last episode alex tuck so it looks like he has a decent team the other guy had a better team than this guy but who knows he could be a better player what a rebound to let out but hey he came back to save it oh to the point we get that across petrangelo deflector from john tavares Close to potting one in there for us. Jeez. Miller. Oh, this gets across. There it is. What a saucer pass. We were getting so good with saucing the puck now. We sauce it over to Kane. one nothing on the power play. Let's go. At the end of one, it is one nothing us. And looking at the stats, man, we are absolutely dominating him. Seven shots to his three. Three minutes and 33 seconds to his 32 seconds time on attack. We're playing good, man. We just can't find the back of the net. One goal, I feel like we should have more than that. There we go, take it to the net. There it is, oh my God, what a backhand. Top corner, Sean Monaghan puts us up by two with that rocket of a backhand, let's go. Oh, Nazem, Nazem. No, he didn't do the one-handed tuck. We are killing him. I mean, he came back in shots, but he's just shooting it from anywhere at this point, man. So, I mean, anyone can have a lot of shots if you look at that realistically. Tavares, Captain Johnny, question mark, 3 nothing. Let's go, and that's going to be another rage quit. I already know it. And, yeah, another rage quit. So, hey, Tavares, Captain Johnny, question mark. That's another big goal from our potentially... Um, our potential captain, I should say. So, hey, two rage quits uh, after going up 3 0. Uh, we will definitely take that. We get just over 800 coins for winning that game. Confirmation of the two points. We advance to Div 6, meaning we are one point off of winning the Div, the Div 7 title and advancing to Div 6 for next episode. Uh, looking at the objectives, we completed two of them, so that should be around 400, 500 coins. Um, and looking at the stats, like I said, just absolute domination for me. Collect our two objectives here. Um, 300 coins in the bank. And make that 1,500 coins for winning two shutout games. Jeez, man, we are making our coins here. We are now above 47,000 coins, inching our way to 50,000 coins, man. Again, having this amount of coins makes me so nervous with that bankrupt spot coming up on the board. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this Monopoly episode video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And like I said, make sure to tell me who we should name uh, Captain for next video. Captain Johnny or Captain Morgan. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!